Hello, hello everybody. How are you going? Hopefully that answer is fantastic. So what I would like to do tonight is try the Montmartre paints with my pouring medium. And <laughs> as you can see from the thumbnail, they look amazing. Uh, so it's really nice to have some slightly different colours than previously. So just setting this up now and I'll get right into it. So that there. Okay. So it looks like we're pretty wonky. So let's have a look at that. It's a little bit better. Not amazing. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, we'll leave it there. Otherwise, I don't want to give anybody a headache trying to adjust it because it's actually something that, for me, I can't leave in position all the time. So, there we go. So, I have to keep readjusting it and all that. All right. So straight up, because I'm going to get right into this, say hello, welcome, and this is my channel, it's Tracy Creating, I am Tracy, and throughout this video, may you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while you're watching. So we're going to start off with the turquoise from Montmartre, it isn't opaque see that whole circle is colored in and just get a little blob out I'll have to transfer these into uh, <laughs> some have to yeah transfer some of it into a smaller a smaller container for when I just need straight paint, not pre-mixed paint. So, <laughs> uh, that's cute. That was a little kickstart to the video. Hello, Jelly Bean. How are you going? All right. So for this part, I'm going to brush it. That's why I want to jump straight into it get things moving and shaking yeah. I when I talk about my pouring medium I'm talking about 10% atelier pouring medium mixed in with 90% of Blood flow troll, Australia blood flow troll. So I just thought, look it out. Preparing this canvas, this is a 16 inch by 20 inch canvas, which is a 40 by 50 centimetre. So just hitting those sides now. This is going to be fun. Well, that's the plan. So. Awesome. Glad to hear it. All right. So. So, yep, that's the canvas size. Now, to prepare the canvas, and... I have masking tape on the underneath side and while I still can quickly show you that so it goes around all the edges and if you can see there's only one or two millimeters between the edge of the canvas and where the tape is 
So that, for me, just helps me to keep it nice and tidy on the back side. Pop that back into place. This is looking lovely. It actually looks to me on my screen that I'm looking at to read comments and whatnot. It actually looks bluer than it is here. So it's greener right here in front of me. And while I did that, I should have checked out the back. So if I have missed anywhere, it is a straight colour, straight out of the bottle. So I can touch it up a litre, if need be. This is just thinning it out and spreading it a little bit further into the canvas. And I like to, I don't want to give it too straight a line, so just kind of wisping it, if that's a thing. Awesome. Really happy with that. Awesome start, just what I wanted. So I'll wash that brush out straight after. And I think so I've been trying to put my tape on the very edge, probably why it bleeds. Oh, mine still sometimes bleeds a little, just depends on the tape. So um, yeah, I absolutely, sometimes I have that, sometimes I don't. Just check that edge, because I can. Just touching it up where I can fully turn it over. So I am off camera, I apologise about that. So. There we go. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, well we straight. Alright, so I'm just gonna blow this just a little bit. Hi Marlene, how are you? Good morning from Canada. That's okay. I appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. Thank you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Hi, Jose. How you going? Debbie, good morning to you in Florida. Thanks so much for coming in. Hope you enjoy this video. So now that that's all in place and somewhat almost dry, we'll just kind of ignore that a moment. And just pop 
pop the canvas back a little and get our cup ready. So we've got the balloon to do as the final feature. We have, we want to create a bit of a flip cup. How about that? But I don't like to use silicon, so I think I might do a dirty pour. So we'll start off. I like to put a little bit of white in the bottom. It doesn't even have to cover the whole bottom surface. That's my preference. So then we will go, might go down the side for the first layer, down the side. I don't want to use all my paint. One reason is because I want to do two layers in here. And the other reason is because there's something else I want to do on the canvas that requires some of the paint. This one is the turquoise. This is the one that's on the background. Sorry, I should have said that. Titanium white, viridian, purple, turquoise, and magenta. So it looks to me like the colours were thought based on being... Um, like bright, fun. So, a couple of blobbies of that over it. So, start with the green. I'm going to go up high for the second layer and leave some paint in the cup. That there. Go off centre. Sometimes I'll do go up high and pour them all into the centre, but tonight I'm feeling like I'll go into slightly different areas. So now I'll go off centre again in a different position. Just from that bit of extra height to Help it to drop and mix in a bit. And the magenta. Awesome. Top that off with some white all through the center. That's pretty. <laughs> oh, the artist's haven. Hi, Tish. Good morning. Yep. Join me for breakfast. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So now we can bring this back. So this is where we're going to So again, with a pour this time, this is going to be in this corner. So I'm going to leave it sit there. Right, great. So with this one, we're going to do, I don't know, little figure eights or something. Just randomish across like this you can <laughs> come on
come back, fill in some gaps, try and sort of I do have to take that off because I'm going to tilt this now back and forth a little bit side to side a little bit this way to the edge and over back that way Okay, <clears throat> going to pause for a moment with that and create some drag lines, feature lines. So I'm going to come in like that, not like that, that didn't work, and come in about here, it's not working. I was watching somebody's video and they were talking about how there's always a like messy point or yucky point of the pour. This is it for this one. <laughs> I didn't want that that straight. There we go. Oh. Good thing this is a test, right? So now that I've done that, I can already think of. Hello, Celine, how are you going? Already think of. I could have put string <clears throat> and pulled a crisp line, just the lines. Anything what you think of as you're doing it or afterwards so now I'm just going to move it around a little bit so this is my messy point I'm a bit confused are you unsure of what I'm going to do with this Stretching it out a little bit. That looks about good. So this is the turquoise again. Coming in to Give some color over here. Okay, so earlier in the video I mentioned my pouring medium. Now what I did with that, so 10% Atelier pouring medium 
and 90% flood flow troll and from there I mix those together and then when I'm mixing my paints I mix equal parts paint to the pouring medium mixture And then if it's still a little bit thick, I'll just add a quick squirt of water. There's no measurement for that. It is literally just, psh, that's it. Wait, what was that? Ah, psh, here. <laughs> now when you always do a noise example for somebody and they're like, wait, what was that? Trying to get you to do it again and again. Like, yeah. All right, so let's see, move this turquoise around, get it over the edge. It's pretty, bring it over. awesome pretty much except for that bit there and that bit there fantastic Whoop. okay so I do have a blank corner still I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to be able to fill that while I enjoy ballooning it and I'm definitely confused <laughs> oh dear I'm going to admit straight up I am disappointed with the drags I thought it would work better than that but that's what it did so already learnt from that next time potentially use string yeah, the string to drag the paint out so not worried let's see so prior to the video I've already blown this balloon up twice and then I've blown it up to this smaller capacity so it's got a little bit of stretch and bounce I don't want it to bounce but so and then here we'll come in I'll do some balloons. I need to wipe it off. Yeah. Oh my gosh, some of this is just beautiful. Let's see. Look at that. So bring that down here because we've got to fill this space as well. We won't have a problem filling it, that'll be fine. So, get a new paper towel ready. Now oh, we're going definitely confused. Okay, that's still there. So I need another bit to cover that spot. Awesome.
bring some more oops I've slipped off a leg down here Grab another, another one. All right, so there we have it. I don't know that it looks how I thought, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all okay. There's nothing to stress about, that's for sure. No need, no worries. Okay, so there we go. Alrighty. So if you're enjoying the video and like watching new experiments, new ideas, I'm loving the paint so far. That's really pretty. Um, looks like it has great coverage. All of that jazz. I will have to do a <clears throat> excuse me a test of whether or not I like I like the combination of the Montmartre paint my pouring medium and silicon so we will see about that one coming up that one there starting to look like a bouquet with lots of ribbons so pretty thank you it is meant to be in my head <laughs> before I started it was pretty much plans for a bouquet these were the stems but because of I didn't quite get the whole stick thing uh, didn't work out as well um, but yeah these were the stalks I mean stems stalks mm. um, yeah coming into the flowers so absolutely you got that one. Oh, hello Kerry how are you okay so just looking at our there's any other spaces I would like to um, go over this one here and I'd like to bring that paint back over to here because with tilting and with this dry paint underneath there isn't as much paint in this section Mm -hmm. Let me go there backwards. Let me wipe that off again. Let's see what's happening. And Malvina, thank you very much. See you soon. Good. Sorry, I might look very pretty. Well, I'm glad to hear you're doing good. No problems about being late. I love that you still turned up and said hello. Come to watch. So thank you very much.
Now this end looks a lot darker than this end, so I'd like to bring either I'd like to bring some magenta in here, but I might actually do it this way. and some white. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see if we can make something pretty. Still came out pretty dark. That one looks like it needs going over. Marlene, <laughs> definitely, I see a bouquet and it's beautiful, thank you. Carl's a terrific, bye for now, shall watch in the shall watch rest later. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Sorry, well done, I will come back. Thank you, Malvina. <clears throat> so I really, definitely... That is such a dark corner. I need to bring some of the dark into the center. I'm gonna do, this is the cup that I did the dirty pour. dollop of white straight into the center of that give it a sideways shuffle and just go over this corner a little bit Flinging the balloon around now. That's nice. I think I got it. Wipe it off before the next one. Man, this turquoise is so beautiful. Giselle, how are you going? Pretty, thank you so much. Right. There we go. Alrighty, so we're just about done. So if anybody has any questions, if you want to pop them in the chat box now, because sometimes we have a little bit of a lag and I don't see questions till right after I've hit the button. I'll go right there. Green is very heavy in that spot. Trying to remove it. Okay. 
I still really prefer a lot of the whiter section. So that's I've got flowers overlapping flowers and it's beautiful. Thrilled to bits how that's turned out. There we go. <laughs> All right, so see. Sorry, I'm such a fiddler, and I think it's actually more that this is a really fun thing to do with the balloon. And I don't know when to stop, but that will be in approximately five, four, three, two, and one. Just brought back a little bit of the magenta in here. I said I'd stop, didn't I? Dang! Okay. There we go. I'll have a read. It's like really just one more I want to do. And just stop! <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, Creations by Baby Doll. How are you going, Brenda? Thanks for coming in and having a look. You are beautiful. Thank you. You're going well, Giselle. That's awesome. You're making magic, I see. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. You love it. I will rewatch from the beginning to see how you started this. Awesome. Thanks, Kerry. I love your balloon smashes. Thanks, Brenda. Oh, made a mess of myself, that's for sure. Let's see. Jelly bean, stop. Giselle, yes, yeah, stop. <laughs> Brenda, it's hard to stop sometimes. It is. It really is because you just keep, could keep going. So you now need to fill the top right corner to make the bouquet full. No, that's my negative space. I've got this painted dry section and that's going to dry. I deliberately wanted to have that. So that is why it's not filled in. Alrighty. So absolutely, I am going to do this again. I'll bring you down for a close up while I talk about it. I am going to do this again and I'm going to remember for next time to use string to drag down these colors and um, it's a great balance of negative space here awesome thank you yes fine then then you get a fine then I agree, negative space stays. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. 
So yeah, next time, I thought I'd do this with the stick, but it didn't quite work out for those who missed it earlier. Um, so next time I've worked out, I will use string and create the nice stems coming sort of around into that corner. This first section was painted and dried. And then we get into the balloon. So let's get in and have a closer look at those. So you got flowers, overlapping flowers, blending of the colours. Here we go. All the way down with our turquoise in the corner. It will match that. This is the dry colour because this is dry and that's the wet pouring colour. So they're both turquoise. So you can see there that there's not much difference. So that's awesome to notice that. So there we have it. A bouquet of sorts. So awesome. Happy, happy. All right, I will just check through. Gorgeous Giselle, thank you very much. Abstract stems. Yeah, it does add interest, absolutely. I'm still happy with it. It's just not what I pictured. You know, sometimes you get that idea. But I'm happy to roll with it. The fluid art, do you have much other option? <laughs> so, I'll put up paint all over me. I'm a mess. Okay. The right side does look a little lighter, which is great. Yeah, so you can tell that's the wet side, that's the dark side. I mean, that's the dry side. So, why did you paint first? I wanted to paint this area first and have it dry off. So I used the heat gun and just, it was pretty thin, so it didn't take a lot um, because I wanted these to be surface stems. I didn't want them to blend into the background. I wanted them to be on top of the background. Okay. Signs. Love the colours, beautiful flowers. Thank you, Brenda. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you so much. I love the comments. I love the questions. We've had some great questions tonight. Thanks. You're very welcome, Kerry. So there we have it. All right. You guys are fantastic. And I just hope that if you have to go anywhere, please take care. And from myself, with a big heartfelt thank you along with it. <laughs> um, thank you, Brenda. That's so lovely. Thank you for a wonderful start of my morning. I appreciate that. So be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.